There is no happiness other than peace. That's a pretty radical statement. Because a lot of people look for happiness in things that are not peaceful at all. But that's why they're disappointed. Things that look like happiness turn out to be not that way. And if you're going to look for happiness outside, well, look at the world. It's not very peaceful. You've got to look inside. That means you have to create a state of peace inside. This is what we do with the meditation. And even though it's just the path, the ultimate peace, you don't have to create. It's there. But to find that, you do have to create a sense of peace inside. They keep teaching the mind the value of being peaceful, of not getting worked up about things. Because when you get worked up, you don't see things clearly. The mind develops tunnel vision, and suddenly something that you ordinarily wouldn't do, you suddenly see as the only thing you can do, or the only thing that makes sense. That's because your range of vision is small. So try to broaden your vision. Think in the long term. When something upsets you, try to put it in a larger context to realize it's not worth getting upset about. Now, there may be things that you should change in this situation, but you've got to ask yourself, what is the right way to go about that? What's the most effective way? What way will give long-term good results? And even to think in those ways requires a certain measure of calm inside. So you've got to create that sense of calm to work with it. You can't borrow a little bit of nirvana, like you can borrow money on your paycheck. You've got to create it from within. So try to keep in mind the value of genuine peace, the value of genuine happiness. And keep reminding yourself of how easy it is to destroy the prospects for that by going for short-term happiness. Happiness where you don't look around. As the Buddha said, the beginning of wisdom is when you ask that question, what would I do that would lead to long-term welfare and happiness? It's going to depend on your actions. Long-term is possible. And this is one of the reasons why we meditate, is to give you the tools you'll need, both in terms of the concentration and in terms of the discernment, to work towards that peace, to create that peace. And don't let the other voices in your mind come in and take over and pull you off in another direction. Because peace is so easy to destroy. It's like setting a fire. Fires are very easy to set, but very hard to put out. So watch out for the little arsonists in your mind. Because they can destroy the good things that you're trying to create here as you practice. <laughs>